Hallelujah. For he is Despite of all our situations, He is wonderful. Hallelujah. And we certainly are thankful for Him today. Amen. Amen. So many may take Him for granted, but we, we certainly do not. Amen. a word today. Amen. It coming from two books. It's going to come from Matthew 7th chapter verse 12 and also 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Matthew 7 verse 12 and I'll be reading from the New King James Version and 1 Corinthians chapter 13 when I go to Corinthians I'm going to read, read, read verse 1 through 3 and we're going to skip down to verse 13 amen when you have Matthew 7 12 please stand in reverence to God's word please if you're able Matthew 7 and 12 say, Therefore, whatever you want men to do to you, do also to them. For this is the law of the prophet. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Though I speak with tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass and tinkling cymbals. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith that I could remove mountains and have not love, yes. I am nothing. Yes. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not love, it profit me nothing. Verse 13 say, and now abide in faith, mm -hmm. hope, love, yes. these three, but the greatest of these Amen. is love. Yes. Amen. 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 You may be seated. Amen. Amen. 
Eternal Father, as I stand behind this sacred big boy, Lord God, I ask now that please allow Jarvis to decrease. Lord, and you be increased, dear Lord. My Father, realizing that this journey is not about me, but it's all about you, Lord. Now, Father God, I pray right now that the words of my mouth, the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. If I had to put a topic on this message today, it would be, I just want to be loved. I just want to be loved. I want to ask you to just turn to your neighbor this morning and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, neighbor. I just want to be loved. Now I want you to turn to yourself and say, self, I just want to be loved. Amen. So we all agree that we all just want to be loved. There's no question but what this world needs right now that anything else is more love. I just believe if we showed each other love, I mean truly love one another, there wouldn't be no more wars going on. There wouldn't be no more crime. There will be no more homelessness. Wouldn't nobody be going hungry. If we would just show one another a little more love. You know, love is the supreme quality that, that most excellent way, that way a man should live. We all just want to be loved. Even those out in the world want to be loved. I don't know for sure, but I just believe that even the devil right. want to be loved. I don't know if you agree with me, but I just believe he want to be loved. I say that because he has tricked so many people to think that he cares about them. He even tried to tempt Jesus out in the wilderness. So he's going to try to tempt you. He want to be loved. That's why I came to the conclusion that the devil even know that we all just want to be loved. Amen. I promise you I'm not going to hold you long today, but some of us want to be loved so bad okay. that we even look for love in all the wrong places. Many relationships have been put together all because one has been in the need of love. Good girls. Get bad, boy. All right. All right. Because they want to be loved. All right. Even good boys All right. end up with bad girls because they feel that they need to be loved. Yeah, yeah people need love, so they look for it in all the wrong places. Some even get it all twisted up. And twist the relationship because they feel they stand in the need of love. Amen. Statistics show us that majority of runaway kids leave their home because they feel as like if they're not being loved. Many children act out in the schoolhouses because they feel that they're not getting the love that they deserve from their parents. Well, it's even sad to say, Mount Eden, but in our church houses, we have many members that leave home, I mean leave the church home because they feel that they're not being loved. Yes, we see and hear about it every day. Realizing that when our church members are hurting, we all should hurt. Am I right about it? 
I just want to tell you today, we got to do better. Yeah. When our brothers and sisters are hurting, we got to be there for them. Yeah. And many times when they're going through and they feel like they have the weight of the shoulders all upon them. Yeah. And too many times we add more weight onto them. Oh, yeah. But we are bound, supposed to bear one another's burden. Yeah. Because that's what love would do. Amen. Love one another. Yeah. Verse 4 in Corinthians says, Charity, meaning love, suffers long. And it is kind. And it do not envy. It vanish not itself and is not puffed up. It do not behave itself unseemly. Seeks not her own, nor the easily provoke. But it tell me that love bears all things. And it believes all things. Love is a good thing to have. Yes. Amen. Amen. Love must be in our church house. Yes. Yes. I just want to be loved. Yes. The Bible teaches us that God is love. Yes. And he that loves God is born of God. How can we say we love God whom we never seen? All right. All right. And hate our brothers and sisters that we see every day. The Bible tells us that we are a liar and the truth is not in us. We must learn how to treat one another. We must treat people the way that we want to be treated. We must have compassion for one another. You know, the Bible tells us that there is a way that seems right unto man. Yeah. But in the end, it leads to destruction. Yeah. There's one thing I know that if we love the way God will have us to love, yeah. our love will cover a multitude of sin. Yeah. Ain't the Lord all right? Yeah. Well, I heard a song by Tina Turner when she said, what love got to do with it? Yeah. When we're doing our own thing, I can tell you love don't have nothing to do with it. When it seems like we're sitting on top of the world, no, love don't have nothing to do with it because it's all about me, myself, and I. But in God's house, I say, but in God's house, love have everything to do with it. I don't care how you fix it up. I don't care how much faith you have. I don't care how much good you do. But if love ain't got nothing to do with it, it ain't worth for nothing. Love in God's house. It got to be the main ingredient that we have in the house. It's love. I don't care how much we get together and shout to the top of our voice, all the faith we have, but we have not love. We have nothing. Love must be the main ingredient. Yeah, I remember last Sunday in Sunday school, I almost got happy when they were talking about, Sister Pope, they were talking about your flower. They were saying, how do your flower grow so well? I, I want to shout then, I want to say, love did it. She showed her flower love. That, that's why her flower grow so good. Because she showed love to them. Yeah. Just like that in our church, Mount Eden. We want our church to grow. Yeah. We got to show them love. Yeah. We got to show everybody love. Who come through that door? Yeah, yeah we, we, we must show them love. And we must continue to lift up Jesus. As a matter of fact, when we're lifting up Jesus, we're loving right. Ain't the Lord all right? When we love like we're supposed to. We be lifting up Jesus and living like a Christian ought. Not how we think we ought to live or how we think we ought to treat one another, but how God will have us to treat one another. 
I just want to be loved. Yeah. Well, I don't told you all I had to come tell you this all morning. Right. Right. Is that I just want to be loved. Yeah. I want to tell you, my brother and sister, in case you came here this morning and you didn't find the love that you were looking for. There is a man by the name of Jesus who's always got his arms wide open and he's waiting on you. I want to tell you it don't matter what you've done or what you are doing. It don't even matter where you come from. It don't matter how you are living. But he loved you so much. Yeah. All you got to do is turn to him. Yeah. And call on his name. Yeah. And he will come in and show you the love. Yeah. That you so truly deserve. Yeah. Somebody wonder how can he do this for me? Okay. Or why did he do it for me? Yeah. He did it because he loved you so much. Yeah. He did it because his father loved you so yeah. much. That's why he did it. And you, guess what? You deserve to be loved. Thank the Lord. All right. Jesus did it for you, and he did it for me. Thank the Lord. All right. He laid down his life for you and I. As a matter of fact, he gave up his home in glory. And he came down to a sinful world because he loved you and I so much. And he loved you so much that he allowed them to put nails in his hand. And he allowed them to put nails in his feet. All because he loved you so much. <laughs> and he, they put thorns upon his head. And the Bible tells me that they pierced him in his side. Ain't the Lord all right. And the Bible tells me that the blood came trembling down. It ain't nothing but the blood of Jesus. That blood of Jesus will wipe you away all your sin. If you will only put all your trust in him. Ain't the Lord all right. There's nobody like Jesus. And they hung him on that cross. And he hung his head and then he died. And they put him in a borrowed tomb. Ain't the Lord all right. And they put him in that bar tomb. He stayed there all day Friday. And he stayed there all day Saturday. But early one Sunday morning, Jesus got up. I tell you, love got up from the grave. And because he got up with love, he, you and I are able to love one another. Ain't the Lord all right? If you open up your heart and only let Jesus come in. He's knocking on your heart today. He's saying, let me come in. And let me come in and sup with you. If you let me come in and sup with you, I'll show you how to love one another. I'll show you how to treat each other. I'll teach you how to bear one another's burden. You can't do it on your own. But you need Jesus to come into your heart. See, I learned a long time ago. That I can't do nothing without him. I had to call on his name in the midnight hour. I prayed to him all the time. And I realized that when he came into my life. That I didn't walk the same way I used to walk. I no longer did I talk the way I used to talk. I stopped worrying about Jarvis all the time. And I started learning to care about each other. I love you just like I love myself. Ain't nothing I'd do to you that I wouldn't do to myself. And trust me, I love myself. I know you love yourself. But when you got Jesus in you, you're going to care about everybody. You're going to treat everybody right. Am I right about it? It don't matter how much money you have. It don't care what you have, your earthly possession. But the love of Jesus come into you. He's all right. He's all right. If you only let him in and let him into your life because we all can testify today that I just want to be loved. Is there anybody here today that don't want to be loved? I don't think so. We all want to be loved. I just want to be loved. 
I just want to be loved. That's what everybody want. Just want to be loved. Now we got Jesus in us. Like we say we have him in us. We'll love one another. We'll care about one another. My brother and sister down, we'll help them pick them up. We want to draw people to Christ. We got to show Christ in us. We got to let his light shine. Not our light. It's time, Mount Anna. It's time, children of God. For us to love the way God wants us to love. We want to be that church that he's coming back for. Without a spot or a wrinkle. We ain't going to make it there any kind of way. We can come in here every day and just say, I love you, I love you, I love you. But love is an action word. My mama always told me, you can show me better than you can tell me. We can make that old tongue say anything. We can dress it up. We can dress it up. But we got to show it. Love. Love. God's love. Love the way Christ loved us. Amen. We just let him bloom and blossom in our life. Continue to pray. Continue to read your Bible. The more we get him in us, the more we reflect of him. It's not easy on your own. You know, it's a song that says it's so hard to get along. And the song also goes on and says, we need Jesus to get along in this world. We can't make it without him. Amen.